Andy, uh, a 2-1 victory here at Plainmore tonight and uh, deserve three points. Brilliant. I mean, if I was a Bromley supporter tonight, I'd be absolutely buzzing with that team performance out there. Um, we've had everything chucked at us. The captain's um, come off injured. Uh, the striker, star striker's come off injured. Louis Dennis has come off injured. Um, and we've dug in and the boys that have come on have done a stellar job and uh, we've dug in and ground out a real gritty performance here today and we had some good moments of quality as well um, but really brilliant performance and uh, gritty performance and good result really chuffed and uh, someone I'm sure you're delighted for is Adam Marriott first start in a while what a performance and a brilliant penalty to cap it yeah and what a professional um, you know he's been waiting in the wings he's been looking at me uh, when he's going to get his chance uh, and I've said to the boys, it's about the whole group. It's not about one individual player. They've all brought into that. Um, and he, he was brilliant tonight. I thought second half up there on his own. Uh, he led the line really well, held the ball up um, and give us, you know, give us a little bit of a breather at the back. So uh, I was delighted for Maz and his goal scoring goes on. Brilliant. And uh, Omar Shomi with his eighth goal of the season. Another brilliant header from a corner. Well, when you lose your captain, you look around for leaders on the pitch. And uh, Omar Shomi's a leader, no doubt about it. And uh, I thought he showed all of those qualities tonight, not just with the goal, but with uh, how he stepped in and really stepped up to the plate. Um, he was a, a real dominant force out there. And I thought his uh, leadership qualities out there in that pitch tonight and how he led the group, I think it just, it just, it just grew on the rest of the group. And uh, I thought that was really important for us tonight. Um, so I was really chuffed for him. And uh, again, real big performance from him. You talk about the DNA of this team. It was a questionable free kick that led to the equaliser, but the team didn't let their heads drop and capitalised on an error to, to get the penalty to win. Yeah, I mean, we knew they were going to be dangerous at set pieces because, you know, when we'd had a few of our, our key players go off, we looked a little bit not probably as dominant in the air. Um, so we knew it was going to be, uh, you know, a bit tricky. Um, so I need to have a look at that, how, how that's crept in. But after that, I felt we, we, we kind of we could have gone with our heads down, but we've we done exactly what we do best. We dug in and, uh, and, and, and sort of took the game to them a little bit more. It sort of ins inspired us a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, really, really chuffed for the boys. And, and they've been so professional with their approach into this game. You know, everything we've done um, as a group has been brilliant. And I'm, I'm, I, couldn't be, I couldn't be prouder of that uh, group of players in that dressing room. They give everything for me tonight and, and Bromley Football Club, by the way. Um, you could see some tired legs at the end, but players like Harry Forster, James Venice just did not stop running. Yeah, I mean that's what we're about, aren't we? I mean, um, you know, we've got that, we've got that DNA running through that I keep going on about. Uh, and if you look at other clubs, they're looking for that DNA. And, and and I say it that we haven't got the budget other clubs have got and the, and the resources they've got. We've got a, 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 a sort of skeleton squad of what we have to make do with. Um, and I wouldn't change any one of those boys. They were brilliant tonight. Dug in. And run themselves into the ground, put their bodies on the line, and and you know what? It was lovely at the end when they've gone over to those people that have made the real journey down here. We know how long this journey is because we've done it. It's a good six and a half, seven hours at points. Um, so we are so chuffed for those people that have come down to watch us tonight and give them something to go back on that long journey back um, and, and, and be proud of their team and their players. And the uh, the three injuries, probably early days, but how are the players doing? Do we know anything just yet? No, we don't know anything yet. We'll have a look at them, we'll assess them. We'll be, I mean, we we'll probably won't get back till half three, four in the morning tomorrow. And then we'll get in tomorrow at some point and assess them and, and take it from there. Um, it's where we are, you know, it's, just that, it's the business end of the season. No one wants to be left out of the team. Everyone wants to be fit for the running. We've got a big game Saturday. We've got to make sure that we're as fresh as can be and as good as can be for Saturday. And, and we hope everyone turn out for a Saturday at, uh, at Hayes Lane and um, really give, get behind the boys again. I saw a great game of football away to Notts County the last time we played and hoping for something similar at Hayes Lane this weekend. No, we don't want a great game of football. <laughs> <laughs> we just want winning football from us. And uh, uh, look, they're a great team, Notts County. We know that and they're going to come to our place. And um, listen, I, I don't think anyone wants to play us. I, I think that's the general feel I've got from when they teams come up against us that they don't look forward to playing us and that's that's what we've got to be we've got to be a, a hard-working honest um, grafting team and and I say that there's quality in there as well so um, yeah really really as you can tell I'm busted with joy and proudness of my team and one thing's for sure it'll be a great atmosphere on Saturday there have been a, some brilliant uh, atmospheres at home days recently and it's going to be a busy one yeah and I'm hoping all that little gang that come behind the goal uh, that really get the noise up I'm hoping they all turn up because they've been brilliant at home and, and, and some of our away games so uh, yeah let's hope we can make it a real kind of atmosphere there Saturday and hopefully we can um, back out of a performance but at the moment we've got to try and get back in the early hours of the morning 
uh, dust ourselves down um, and get ourselves ready for the for the next game ahead. Andy, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you for those people that have come to see us down here today. Really appreciate that.